Maneli Jamal, tonight hosted by Red Theater Performing Gas Factory. Hi Maneli, thank Hi. you for, for joining us. We have some questions for you. So we are very interested to the rules of your music. Mm. Uh, can you tell us something about it? Yeah, the roots of my music uh, dates back to, I think, the first day that I was born. I think ever since since, since I've been alive, up to now, these 30 years, I've been, uh, every country that I've been to has been kind of a process on how to write music and how to approach uh, gathering different inspirations from all of them that I've visited and applying that to the music. Basically, it's a reflection of where I've lived and where I've been uh, throughout the world so far. So, how your life story influenced your music? Yeah, you know, it's been it's been a tough journey up to now. I think every struggle that you have in life is a reflection of, of what you're doing musically. And uh, because I've had to move so much, I've had to adapt so much. And because of this, you know, I have a lot of music written about specific times of my life, perhaps of moving to a new country or learning a new language or having to adapt to a new environment that you're not used to. And all these, these sorts of experiences in life helped me to really write my music and how to cultivate that into a musical expression. And if it wasn't for music, you know, I'm not sure that I would be doing anything right now with my life. So it's really a blessing to have had music as my, my, my savior in life. Maneli, yeah. we have uh, here with us uh, Paolo Mantini from clockbeats.com mm -hmm. who want to ask you some question. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What do you think about the collaboration worldwide? Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think about uh, different languages, different uh, musicians from uh, any countries? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. Yeah. Um, the idea of collaboration is a wonderful thing. Even my, my last CD that I just released last month is, is a CD full of collaborations. And before I was never really doing that. And with this idea, I think uh, as a musician, you have to share music to really feel the the most powerful aspect of music which is to share it in the first place and to have had the pleasure to be playing with some world-class musicians on the cd uh, and throughout touring the world it's uh, really one of the most uh, joyful things in life you know solo is great playing solo is wonderful but yeah. but sharing it with someone else is just it takes it to that next level yeah yeah thank you you're welcome in the last uh, two days together, uh, we had the opportunity to introduce you how our project. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, what do you think about uh, the Red Theatre Factory? Yeah, it's a great idea. This is my first time playing in an idea like this. So and I'm all for the idea of having this, uh, this secret kind of location that uh, is not open to everyone. You know, it's an invite only location. I really like the idea of that because it's uh, because it's such a secret, I think it makes people even more interested in it, in the idea of that. And the fact that everyone here uh, involved is an artist of some sort as well, it makes the whole process of being here even more special. Because everyone here is for the same reason, for the sharing of love, the love of music and the love of art. And, and that's what the, the whole, I think for me, that's what the whole meaning of Red Theatre is. And this is really the, the perfect place to be playing music as a musician like myself. Okay, thank you. You perfect uh, understand the point. Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs>